said that from the time she was about four years old uh -huh. until she was 13, uh -huh. that you had molested her oh my God. on multiple occasions. No, no way. In February of 2017, Abraham Grahales was confronted at his home by the police who asked him to come to the station for questioning. Once there, he was informed that his two granddaughters were accusing him of molesting them for years. The abuse took place between the ages of four to 13 years until finally the girls were unable to bear it any longer and told their parents. We're gonna put your handcuffs in front, okay? So you'll be more comfortable. This interview is being conducted by Detective O'Connor of the St. Cloud Police Department at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office on Tuesday, February 7, 2017 at 2.38 p.m. The person being interviewed is Abraham Grahalis. Present during the interview are Abraham Grahalis, Detective O'Connor, and Detective Bishop of the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Um, Abraham, can you state your full name for me? Uh, Abraham, uh, in Spanish? No, in English. Okay, Abraham Grahalis. And uh, your date of birth? I'm gonna be. I got. I got in this song. I can't read. I can't. Okay. I can't read and I can't. Uh, how do you say? I can't. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I. I'm many years ago in Manhattan. I used to work in Manhattan. Okay. I hit my head. Okay. For the accident and the, one of the boiler, and I. I was, not in coma, but I was real bad. Wow. So I forgot everything. Okay. So I want you to know that. Okay, good. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you for telling me that. Okay. Um, so, what is your date of birth? Uh, eight, 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 eighteen, I believe. August. Eighteen forty-six. August eighteen of nineteen forty-six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And your address? Do you know your address? Uh, my address is where you got took me. That's my address today, all right? It's, uh, uh, What's the street name? Uh, okay, and uh, where is that? What town? Okay, and what's your phone number? I don't know. You don't know your phone number? No. Okay. 
Well, I'm a sworn law enforcement officer in the state of Florida. Um, and as such, I'm empowered to place persons under oath for the official taking of statements and record. So when I take a statement from somebody, I have the right and the authority to put them under oath. Um, what what I mean? Oath uh -huh. is when you swear to tell the oh, truth. Okay. Um, and and um, As they are reading Grahalis his rights, he reveals that he is unable to read or write. This means extra care will have to be given to make sure he understands what is being said. Otherwise, any confession he might make or any incriminating statements could be declared inadmissible. I just released a full 15 minute video about a case so graphic, it would never be allowed to be published here on YouTube. Join my Patreon page right now to get instant access to that video and many more graphic cases that are too controversial to be posted here. Not telling the truth or telling a lie under oath is a crime against the state of Florida. You understand okay, that? Yes. So if you, if we're talking today and you tell me a lie, uh -huh. then that's a crime. Okay. Okay. Um, can you raise your right hand? Uh, you're the other right hand. <laughs> uh, do you swear the statement you're about to give be the truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your to help you, God? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to read you what your rights are. Okay. okay. You have the right to remain silent. You understand what that means? See. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you before and during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you at county expense before any questioning if you wish. Okay. If you give up your right to remain silent and later wish to stop answering questions, no further questions will be asked. You understand that? See. Okay. Yes. Um... Where are you from originally? Uh, Puerto Rico. You grew up in Puerto Rico? Yeah. Um, big family, little family? No, big family. Okay. Uh, and when did you come to New York? You went to New York after that, when you moved out of Puerto Rico? Yeah. How old were you when you moved out of Puerto Rico? Maybe about 18. Okay, okay. So you grew up in Puerto Rico, you went to school there? Uh, no, I, I don't went to school. I'll tell you, I got a problem. Okay. Laying, laying, uh, now it's somebody here to help me. Man. Uh, to, I, I went only to third grade, third, third, third grade, grade in Puerto Rico. Okay. Then I start to help my father. Okay. In the house, don't you know? And the, uh, sure, times are different back then. Yeah, yeah. So then I went. I was eight, seventeen, well, seventeen or eighteen when I went to New York. Okay. And uh, then Brooklyn. Where in Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Uh, they, they call it William Bell. Okay. I believe in William Bell. Yeah. Okay. So this is my story of my life. What did you do for work? I used to be a handyman. Okay. So you're yeah. just fixing odds and ends like a carpenter? Mm -hmm. fix, fix, fix it. Uh, not too much a carpenter, not too much. A little, little thing, you know. Yeah. I, I never went to school, really. Okay. So. Like electronics or anything no, like that? No, no, no. Can't do that. Okay. No, I can uh, I can fix things with my hand, you know. But I can't do that. Uh, how long have you been married? Forty-six years. Forty-seven 40, years. Forty-seven years. Yeah. Hmm. She's my hand, my right hand. So how old were you guys when you met? Twenty-five. She was twenty. I think she was about a nineteen. Uh -huh. Twenty. I was about a. I don't know, maybe 20, I don't remember. What about before, what about before your wife? Were you married before that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got, you had uh, one divorce. divorce or two divorces? One. Okay. And, but, uh, I was young. Okay, how long were you married? Uh, maybe about a year. A year? How long were you together before you got married? Uh, who, who the first wife? Yeah. About a year. So you were with you were dating for a year and then you got no no married all, all together. Okay, so just a year we're dating yeah, and then married. Yeah. Any kids? Yeah, one daughter. What's her name? Uh. And where's now? Uh, you live. She's. A okay. When was the last time you talked to? Her? Long time. But she never get along with me. No. Why not? I don't know. There's got to be something. No, because really, 
uh, I don't see him no more. You, the mother took it. Okay. And I saw uh, when when she was about eighteen. I saw her a couple of times. Okay. Yeah. And what about when she was a baby? <coughs> like growing up, you didn't see her growing up at all. No. Okay. What what are the names? Uh huh. Uh, no, the first one. Okay, she's the oldest. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. And then. Uh huh. And. Okay. And. I live up the block from you. I moved to, she moved, she moved to, ay, 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 to, okay, she moved to, no, and where does she live, it's, 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 okay, but I'm not there, okay, oh. Grahales admits that he doesn't have a good relationship with his daughter, but cannot give a reason, the detective picks up on that, and pursues that line of questioning, and is met with evasiveness, okay, you get along okay with Yeah. No problems? No problem. Um, what about two? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, hmm. You, where does live? I live in, uh, I believe. Okay. Uh, uh, when was the last time you saw I'll say, say about a, a two months. Two months? Yeah. Okay. Why so long? I have all, all time working. Yeah. You yeah. working or he's working? No, he's working. I saw not too long because we, me, my, my wife went to see it, the mm -hmm. kid. Uh, but I don't see him almost for three months. So you don't have any issues with No, I don't have no issue with that. And nothing with No problems? No problem. Never problems? No, no fights? No fights, no. No arguments? No. Well, do you have any idea why you're here right now? No. None? No. It's weird because we've been here for a little while now. Um, went to your house, you haven't asked me why you're here. Uh, well, I, I asked him in my house, what happened? Yeah, I said, I just want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? So I was scared. I, I be, I be honest with you. I say maybe somebody could kill him and say I did it. What? I don't know. Because my nephew was there. I say, uh, why they took you? I say I don't know. Did you kill somebody? No, I don't know. So you have no idea at all why you're no, here. No, no. All right. Well, it says that you guys haven't been getting along too good lately. No, I don't think so. Yeah, he said it. That's yeah. right. I'm not making that up. Uh -huh. So what's been going on? What, what's the argument about with? Well, I don't know why he say that. It's because uh, he always say something about. The, uh, I don't know. I really I don't know. What did What did he say about? He say, ah, you guy, you always talking, you guy. But you know, I don't, I don't, no, no attention to him. Okay, so he's mad at you because you're talking. So. So sometimes know me, but my wife getting his wife's eye, you know, it's no way uh, Maybe my wife is, uh, is she's Christian. She, we go to church, and sometimes he tell him what to do. He don't like it. So maybe that's what it is. What did you tell him to do? Oh, she say go to the church, uh, we get for the kid, uh, thing like that, you know. To say okay, oh, nothing, nothing bad. So be careful with the kids. What does that mean? Like what she was always, she always says, she always not only the told the told be careful. Well, today is a bad, bad thing happened. Be careful for the children. All things, you know. But like what? I mean, if you're telling somebody to be careful for something, you can. You saw something that they did that was not safe. So I'm just trying to figure out what that was. No, you said no, be no. careful. She, she said, good, 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 good. We, we careful then. Okay. So. No, I'm just curious what, you really know, nothing bad. if they're doing something that's not safe, maybe no, we can I help. No, 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 Okay. So, what is his kid's names? Uh, 
The fact that Grohalis hasn't been more insistent about finding out why he is there is odd. It is natural to be nervous, but curiosity usually overrides that emotion. Oftentimes, someone who is guilty of a crime will say nothing until they are sure why they are there. Otherwise, they might incriminate themselves needlessly if they've been asked to come in on a completely unrelated matter. We call it okay. How old is Okay, and how old is um Okay. Now I know you said you had diabetes. Yeah. Do you have any other medical issues? No. No. Men men uh memory. Your memory? Yeah. Okay. They they did uh um um Brooklyn, they did a um not Brooklyn, sorry. Mahata. They did a examination my head. Uh-huh. And they think I got a uh after they call that uh, dementia. Okay, dementia? Yeah. You had that? You've been diagnosed with that? Yeah, a long time ago. Hmm. How long ago? Oh, I don't know, I forgot. Too long. Like I, 40 years ago? 20 years ago? I'd say about, I'd say about 40 years ago, maybe. 40 years ago? I'd say about 20 or 30 years ago. So when you were in your 40s, you got diagnosed with dementia? Uh, I wish, no, a little more. 50, maybe about 50. Okay, because... Yeah. How old are you now? Uh, 40, 47. You're 47 years old? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 70. Okay. 70. Yeah. I, I'm confused with the Mary and the age. Okay. If you um, feel like you need something to drink or you need something to eat no, because no, of your diabetes, no. I want you to tell me. No, okay? well, I got the medicine. Okay, but I want you to tell me if you need something to eat or drink, okay? All right. Maybe I gotta take the medicine when she comes. Okay. Because I eat some spaghetti that, that I cook, uh, they cook in the house. Mm -hmm. So I eat spaghetti. Mm -hmm. okay. So I gotta take my medicine. Okay. What time are you supposed to take that? Uh, whatever, whatever you can. Okay. So. <clears throat> so, so what happened to. Well, that's what, what I'm asking. I no, want to know what you, know. if you have any problems with it. No, I don't have no problem with that. No, 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 um, no, 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 I don't have no problem. So, he's made some allegations against you. Really? Serious allegations. Oh, wow. They were. Well, he said that um, he had a meeting with you at your house yeah. in June. Yeah. Remember that? This past summer? And he was yeah. mad at you. Uh -huh. You remember what that was about? I know he went to the house. You know? Yeah. But he, he, I asked him what happened. He said, I don't go to my house no more. Okay. But I figured, you know, he's mad at me. For what? I don't know. I wish I know. So. He didn't say anything else? Just don't go to my house anymore? Oh, yeah. But I don't put my attention to him. Well, Did he say that to your wife too? No. Just you? Well, she said it to me. Okay, so your wife was well, still allowed to go there? You know what, my wife, my wife stopped to go because he don't answer the phone. Okay. So. So he just well, told you not to go there? No, not to go. And nothing else, nothing about why? No. Just, I don't want you at no, my house? No, I don't know why. And then you just shake it off like nothing? Because, things, you know, you know how it can be made, and then they come back, you know? That was six months ago. He says he hasn't talked to you since then. No, he does not. That's not true. Did you talk to him on your phone? No. I don't, I don't use the phone much. Yeah? No. Okay, so... Now, why do all the talk? She calls how are you doing? So, I actually, sometimes I, I don't know how to say, but she showed me the, in the telephone. They go, hi, 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 you still haven't asked me what it's about. I just said that I'm making serious allegations about you. No, you say that. I don't even know. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he says, and the girls say, 
that you've been molesting them for oh, years. That's not true. No. No, no way. Can you tell me about your address? Grahales tries to pass off the six month estrangement from his son as no big deal and doesn't even act interested in the reason behind it. When the reason for him being questioned is finally given, Grahales laughingly brushes off the accusation. Most people would be shocked or offended, but he doesn't even make a token protest of innocence. This is where you lived in the uh, last few years? This I lived. Yeah, at, uh, where did you live before that? How long have you been at? Uh, about four years. Four years? Uh -huh. Okay, so you, and then before that, where did you live? Uh, it was in but I forgot the address. Yeah. Where's that at? Is that in North? Kissimmee? Uh, uh, Orlando. Okay. What the house look like? Uh, the house look like a. It's a old house. It was a old house. Was like it the ranch? One story, two story? No, one, 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 one. Uh, no, no, two floor. Yeah. And that was the. I believe. Okay. Yeah. That's one story? One story. Okay. How long did you live there? Uh, we were there about, <coughs> I don't know, about three years, four years, too. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, what about before that? I don't remember. Okay. So. When did you move to Four years. Does an address on sound familiar? Yeah. You live there? Yeah. Do you remember when? Uh, it's, I don't even know. It's, can you ask my wife? Okay, no, it's, it's not that important. I was oh, just asking okay. you, does that sound familiar? Yeah. yeah. Does that sound like a place you lived? Yeah. What, what, what's the date again? What's the name? Uh -huh. I don't think that's... You don't think you live there? No. Okay. Do you drive? No. Why not? I don't have no license. I never can get my license. Oh, it's just an ID card. Right. Are your eyes gray or blue? Uh, uh, green. They're green? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's your gray shirt that you have on. Oh. All right, so... I got an operation by it. Huh? I got an operation. Oh, an operation? Yeah. Okay. So, tell me about... She's a nice girl. Okay. I love her very much. Uh, she's a sweetheart. When was the last time you talked to her? The last time she went to the house. What was that? <coughs> uh, I say about a, maybe about three months, four months. Okay. She went to the, uh, my my. Yeah. So he was there too. He went. To, uh, they were together. They stay. They stay. They, they stay in the house. They something they left. Do you have a gun? No. No guns? No. No gun. Hmm. Because she said she saw a gun in your house if you had a gun. Oh my god. Did I say that? Yeah. Have you ever had one? No, never. Never. You can go to my house, or you're not going to find no one. I'm going to live in that. Have a BB gun or a pellet gun no, no, or no, 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 toy no, no, gun? No, no, no. No. Hmm. It's my wife, you see. Well. That's crazy. Say that. She said that from the time she was about four years old uh -huh. until she was 13, uh -huh. that you had molested her oh my God. on multiple occasions. No, no way. Oh that my God, I don't believe this. That you, you touched her vagina with your fingers, that you put your mouth on her vagina. Oh my God. That you forced her to... You make me cry. 
You said that you forced her to um, give you oral sex. Oh, no. That's not true. That you forced her to touch your penis. Oh, my God. Um, and then um, in June, mm -hmm. she didn't want to go to your house anymore. And she started crying when she was going to be left at your house while um, the parents went out, out of town for work. And uh, then she told what happened. And then she said, yeah, that happened to me too. Oh, my God. Why would they say that about you? I don't know. Really, I don't know. I, even you, I know you say because my baby said to you, but I don't believe that. They said it. I, why? I don't know. That's why I want to know. That's why I'm talking to you. I mean, my heart to get that. So, but you got two girls saying the same thing. Are you like that? Uh, yeah. Why? Why? Uh, never say nothing about me. The other ones. They said the same thing too. They never live with me. She said that when she was very young, that, that you molested you her see, also. You see, it's not true. She never lived with me. Not even, not even one week. The mother took her away from me. But why would three people come forward? Yeah, and I can't. She said, something, something's going on. Why would they do that? I they don't know. Even, even when I used to go to the house, he said, I don't like when you come here, but when you come here, I always uh, uh, preaching, and I don't like the preaching, I don't like, you know, my wife is a Pentecostal. Yeah. So she liked to, you know, talking about the Bible, yeah, everything to that. And then he never, I mean, no, no everyone. Once the detective starts giving specific details, Grajales finally starts to act as expected in this situation. Although his responses seem stiff and muted, as if he is reading a script, the allegations are serious. And with multiple people making the claims, Grajales is going to have to work hard to disprove them. Oh, I wish you stay out of my business. I wish you don't come here and talk. She make, she make us cry every time she talk about the Bible and all that. So I told her one time, my wife, don't talk about the Bible no more from then. She said, I don't want to hear it. Just pray. And that's it. You know, we pray. And we can do nothing. Well, but, but, you know, this, this, this is, I'm just, I can't believe this. Also said that um, she thinks that your wife was known was known about what was going on. That she oh knew my God. what you were doing. That's my wife. Oh well, you know, it's but not now, true. It's not true. She said that um, you started touching her when she was four. My God. And then um, when she was about. 11 years old, that's what he said. She said that's when you started performing oral sex on her. Oh, Jesus. No, she, no way. That's not true. And she said that happened very often. Now she's now. Um, I can't believe that this child. I can't believe this. And she said recently, the most recent incident happened in June, June of last year. No, it's not true. And then that's you went true. to her house to drop off, um, drop off food was in his room playing loud music and she was on the phone with her friend you yeah. remember that no no and you were knocking on the door telling her to open the door that you brought food for her how, how, you know it's far away where I live where they live it's not that far well for me walking you know yeah yeah I don't know for me far away hmm. you know yeah so but she said that she was on the phone with her friend and um, the friend, she had like a FaceTime and she uh -huh. dropped her phone and the phone stayed on and her friend was able to hear. To hear what? I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet. Oh, I don't know. That's not true. And she said That's that true. you were fighting with her and that you tried taking her pants off. Oh, my God. And you were hitting her and that um, she was screaming for and that came out of the room and then you got up and you left the room and you went down you went out of the room in that area and then um, asked her what was wrong and she said that she was just sick and then 
Thought nothing of it. But he remembers that though. He remembers you being at the house. One time they give me a, uh, when I go up with my wife, Keith, mm -hmm. I love the dog. They got two dogs, one there, uh, and I always take care of the dog. Okay. But they're never there. They're always in school working. Yeah. So you go to the house to walk the dog? One time. No, no walk, just feed it there because they're always out. Okay. A couple times. So you go there sometimes when they're at work to go and feed the dog? Yeah, I did a couple times. How do you get there? My wife. Okay. She's right. So every time you go there, your wife is with you? Yeah. I can't believe this. Even for. Grajales says that these accusations can't be true and wants them to corroborate this with his wife. However, the victims have already said that Grajales' wife knows about these acts, so her word is useless in this situation. Oh, uh, what's the name? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I left when she was about a, maybe two years, I don't know, two years. Yeah. She was, I don't see him no more. <laughs> no more, two, two weeks, she was about a 18 or 19. I wish I could show you right now the video uh, talking about you and what you what she said oh you did God. to her now these are just allegations now yeah yeah but you know when she's talking about what you did to her she's going into such detail and she's breaking down she's crying and you can see like we've been doing this for, for a little while i've had a lot of interviews oh my god and i can tell you when you when you talk to her and you see the way she's breaking down there's no signs that she's being untruthful like there's right. nothing like her, her testimony so sincere you're talking to her the way she just she kept breaking down it really touches your heart yeah, almost I like break my heart now what are you saying almost like she completely believes it I don't know that's the, I mean, the way so I, the way you see her tell it tell what happened to her it's like she's reliving it it's really it's heart-wrenching oh you know God. to see her recount what yeah, happened yeah, I, 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 and and here's so, something I want you to hear right. me out and think about this right because some people, when they're young, very young, they get an early sexual experience, mm -hmm. and that stays with them. And that becomes their preference, you know? When you get exposed to something very early in life, and it's like a disease. And there's help for people that have this mentality, that think like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you get exposed to that, you can't help yourself sometimes. And you know sometimes you don't you don't, you misinterpret signals and you can act a certain way and not even realize what you're doing, you know. And it's a long pattern of hurt that you know people need to heal after time, you know. Now I know you've you're 70 years old. Mm. I'm sure you've seen a lot in your life mm. growing up and right. coming to where you are now. I never had this problem. With, yeah, I, I can see. You know, you, you care about But I'm telling you, when you talk to this girl and you see the interview, the way she comes off... To me, it's like evil, you know? To say something... But it's two, not true. two people... No, are, three people, you say... Two. I know, two you know? You got these two young girls describing very similar situations about you. I don't know, I can understand that. That's... Uh, how no, could that's that happen true. without it being true, Abraham? No, but... Let me, let, me, let me tell you, yeah, it shocked me to hear this. You don't look shocked, I'll be honest with you. Well, you can say that. I did. But to me, it's not true. Okay. You know? Would you make yourself available to do a lie detector test? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. It's, it's, um, I tell you right now, yeah. But like I the say, allegations I, are so I, strong against you. I want, it, I want, it, uh, I don't have no money for a lawyer, but I want a lawyer to, to, yeah. to, to be in my, to, you know, yeah. To, because right now, you, uh, you believe what they say. I, I say it's not. I can tell you, I can see their face, you know? and when you talk to them, yeah. I'm telling you that their, their, the, the way they tell their story and the hurt and the pain, is real. It's no, you can't. Yeah. You can't, you know, unless... It's not, it's not real. It's not true. 
Oh, it's not true. They, 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 Are the girls, uh, the girls liars? Well, what I can say? Answer me. You know, don't you be they lie. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. Uh -huh. Are they liars in general? Like you know them to be, in the past, untruthful. Like do they tell a lot of lies? Well, they never lie to me. Are, are they bad girls? I don't know. I don't say they're bad. They might see them. How can I say that? Well, I mean, you know? if it's the truth, it's the truth. No, no. You can You know. So prime me they say that too. Uh -huh. You know. I know. It's always. Uh, you know. It makes you stories. I don't know the girl going to come out with this too. Abraham, yeah. are you asking for a lawyer right now or do you want to keep talking and you just want a lawyer for the case? Yeah. Well, I want a lawyer to, you know, because like I say, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, to read. Okay, but I need, to I need to know, are you asking for a lawyer right now or do you want to keep talking to us and you want a lawyer for your case? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, I don't know. I don't, what, what, I don't know what to say. I can't tell you what to say. I yeah. just need to be clear on what you're, on what you're telling me. Yeah. To me, I, to, to me, I never did that. Okay. Okay. You know, I never did that. So. Well, we have more questions I want to ask you. Yeah. But before we go forward, do uh -huh. you want a lawyer now, or do you want a lawyer to review your case later? Is that what you're saying? Because I'm not sure what you're saying. Well, well that's my wife because. It may sound excessive after they have asked Grahales multiple times if he wants a lawyer, but since he brought up the subject himself. They have to be very careful to ensure that if he continues speaking, it is of his own free will, and that no claim can be made that they denied him representation. Well, they were supposed to call me when your wife got here, and I haven't been called yet, so I don't think she's here yet. Oh, so you call her? No, I need to talk to you. Oh, we're trying to talk to you, so. Okay. Well, so I need a lawyer. I need a lawyer. I don't know. Yeah. We're, we're asking you to tell us what you want. Yeah, because I know that this is, I can't believe it. Even when you walk to my house, I don't even know where you guys are. I figure somebody killed somebody and they, they saw, you know, I see on TV one time, this something like that. Okay, well, I'm not going to make assumptions. You keep talking, so does that mean you want to keep talking so we can kind of sort this out, or what are you telling us? No, no well, I'll tell you, I know that. Okay. It's not true. Well, we have a couple more questions for you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm kind of, if you don't mind, yeah, I'm no, kind of no. confused about, um, yeah. said that in June, he told you why he didn't want to have contact with you. He said he told you that he knew what you mm -hmm. did to his girls. Right. So the fact that you're acting so surprised and shocked today has me a little confused. So that's because you're acting like you haven't heard this before, but yeah. you're telling us you have heard this before. You do know that the girls have said this stuff before. No, no, no. That's not true. So, lying, um, lying, 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 everybody's lying but you? No, I don't say, well, I say the truth. I don't do it. See, see, I say I don't do it. I don't lie. I mean, I don't lie liar because I don't do it. Are you saying? I never told you that? It, you should make a story, like I was, like I was telling you guys. What well, did he tell you in June? Because he told uh, us that he uh, specifically told you that he knew what you did to his girls. No, no, no. He's, he went to the house when, when, when he was shot. He was shot. Uh, and I asked him, what's going on? I don't know. I asked so when I went there, let him walk to the house. He don't give me a chance to say, what's going on? What are you talking about? Huh? He told me he knew, at that time, he knew what the allegations were. No, no, I don't, I know. He said, never knew. <coughs> so nobody. Okay, right now, my wife, he don't, he, she don't even know what's going on. No, I, I don't know if your wife knows, but I know no. that you know. He said no. that he specifically told you. He's, that he knows what you did to his daughters yes. and for you not to have any contact with him. You say he, he told everybody, no? I don't know if he told everybody. Oh, okay. He said he told you. No, no, he don't never tell me. Well, you said he was shocked. Why was he shocked? Well, at the way uh, just went to the house, he said, don't go no more to my house. And let me tell you, I always have one again. And we always together. So I don't know why he said that. 
I was, I was so you went but six months without finding out why? I think he was mad at, at, at me. Has he ever been mad at you like that before? One time he was mad at me. What was that for? Because I know how to, I, in that time he got the house, he was losing the house. Mm -hmm. And asking for also some money. Did he stop talking to you then? Yeah, but he come back. How long was that? A long time, a long time. Uh, about four years ago. Okay, but if he stops talking to you, it's because yeah, of something yeah. serious. Yeah. How long did he take before he went back to talk to you again? Uh, when the house. Yeah. It took me about a couple months, three or four months. Okay, well, we're eight months. It's been eight months. Eight months when he went to my house. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, eight months. He said June, so, yeah. I don't know. He, my, my wife called in. He said, I'm fine. I'm working. I, he, he got, uh, what I understand, he got a job. He go a lot of places. Mm -hmm. So he said, I'm sorry for that. I'm, I'm um, some place far away. Now you said you have some memory issues. Uh -huh. Is it possible that this happened and you don't remember? No, no, no. I got I, my my problem. My problem was with my uh, disability. You know the the problem. The, uh, but I know my children. You know I know my children. Mm -hmm. I know them. I love them. And I like. I went to see. We went to see him. I don't see him almost about two months, three months. You know, because he's working, he's busy. So, and 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 I, she called the house. You know, hey, everything okay? How everything okay? Have she's you had working. any issues with or with? That would make no. them make this up? No, I don't know. I, I don't know why they make this up. And can you tell us why uh, they would lie about such a thing? This is a big uh, deal. It is a big deal. Why well, a big deal? But it's, but, uh, Grahales can give no reason why his family would lie about such a thing. The detectives try to understand why he is acting confused about the accusations, since Grahales' son had already confronted him. But Grahales blusters and sidesteps that particular question as much as possible. Why is they bring in this? But I don't know. What would they have to gain? Well, uh, right. I don't know. Can I you think know. of anything they would have to gain by making this up? No. Have no. you ever heard of make this stuff up about anybody else? No, so oh, this is uh, like a, now because you say, I remember one time my wife was in the house and say, don't touch my private. And my wife don't even touch it. And I say to my wife, be careful, be careful. How old was she then? Uh, probably, was she probably 11. You think that's because you were already touching her private? No. She didn't want no. anybody else touching her private? I never touched it. I never touched no, nobody. I believe Oh, you believe it? I do believe, you know. I believe I believe You know, I, uh, when they're small, they ne we never had this problem. They never say, my white touch, white touch, you know? Well, we haven't talked to everybody else yet. And there might be more. Right now we're starting with these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's not true. It's not true. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I swear, and the Bible, I swear, I cannot deal it. I love so much, you know? Maybe you love him too much. No, 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 the way you think. You say, you know, I love because they, you know, and I, and I respect them, and they, they respect, they respect me too, you know, so. Have you, what, ever, have you ever had to punish and, them and, for anything? No, no, I never punished them. No discipline at all? No. Never had no. to spank them? No, even my, 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 my own sons, the one they used to punish, do the, with my wife, mm -hmm. you know. For me, they got away with everything. No, they got away with, uh, you know. Have you ever hit? No. Never? Never, never, never. 
should not believe them? There's three of them. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know who put them something in his mind because he's saying this. You know? So you talk to talk to Well, generally uh, kids, and she's technically right. she's still a kid. No, generally no, no. When, okay, I'm talking about oh. Generally, if kids uh, make up a story, they can't stick to it. They don't know details, and if you question them about it too much, they aren't consistent in their statements. She is extremely consistent. She was asked the same question probably five different ways, and her answer was the same every time. So there's absolutely nothing about her statement that is unbelievable or not credible. I don't know who played with my talent to do this, but I want, I just tell you, you people can never, never touch. Never. The detectives let Grajales know very clearly that they believe his family is telling the truth. Unsurprisingly, he is upset by this, but nothing he says in his own defense gives them any reason to think otherwise. I, I can die here, and I say never did. Because that's the truth. Never. 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 Anything else? So, let me go over what the process is going to be. Uh -huh. um, because her statements were so credible, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be charged with everything that was said that you oh, did to God. her today. Um, you're going to be charged from the St. Cloud Police Department, and you're going to be charged from the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, and then, as part of the case with because you in Orlando, the Orange County Sheriff's Office is going to be investigating what happened with So you got additional charges coming from everything that happened with and um, potentially so if she decides to report what happened locally. And I think they were up, you guys but were up. Never, never even close to that. You see? Mm -hmm. So you got a pretty you good defense for that. that. But, and, and it's a pretty strong case against you. Um, they're making harsh allegations, oh my God. and these allegations are life felonies. So when you get arrested for this, you're not going to have a bond, and um, if you're convicted, you can be sentenced to life in prison. Oh my God! So when it goes, innocent, innocent. It's sad to say. Yeah. You know. So but I'm innocent to all this. Hmm. I don't if, even they put me in jail, I always say I'm innocent. But here's, I never did. here's something I, I'd like to point out to people in a situation like that. Uh -huh. All right. These girls, yeah. they've been traumatized. 
tra tragically traumatized. And I want you to keep in mind going forward, as the court process goes through, they're going to have to get on stand and testify and confront you and say to your face what mm -hmm. you did to them. That's going to be like trauma to them all over right. again. Well, like, like I say to you, see, they can be here. And I say to them, why you say that? Why are you lying? Because this is a lie. You know? Why you say I did it when I never did it? Do you know when what I never even touched you, even play. Do you know what the odds are of three people coming oh, together uh, for the allegations? Yeah. And, and here's the thing, when you have a situation like this, there's some level of gain when somebody makes something up like this. Right. There's some gain. This is nothing but loss mm. and pain and heartache for that family uh, right now. I don't know why they're they all going. I'm telling you, they're going through living hell, dealing day by day, mm. going to therapy, trying to support each other, trying to understand what happened. The blame has put on himself for not seeing it. For not seeing the signs that happened, the heartache that he's going through right now, he's beating himself up. I can see in his eyes, he hates your guts now. I can believe he you. hates you with me. all of his soul. He used to say, you know, I got you so high. I got this, you my and best. That's true. And now, that's true. Now, now, look what you're saying. That's, that's all true. That's why he trusted you with his children. You know? He trusted you with what mattered most to him. His and you abuse that yeah. trust. No, I don't abuse that trust. I don't abuse that trust. Which was you. Yeah. You know? And these poor kids are, are now traumatized. That relationship mm -hmm. is over. And he's got to mend that in his mind and make some sort of sense of what happened. You, you think at my age, I'm going to do something like that? Yes. When I, yes. No, I don't believe this. You know? I don't believe this because I I love them to pieces. You Maybe know? too much. You know, I love I love I love to pieces. You can ask them. You can tell. You can listen to this to this super. Okay, let's say let's say I did that. So what? Asking and the other one. You know? Okay. You're going to see the difference. Just, just because you preferred one child over another doesn't no, mean No, 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 I mean, no. I said that. Even though it is repeatedly stressed how damaging this has been for his family, Rahales shows no real emotion or consideration for them. Self-preservation has become his main focus, which stems from the knowledge that the odds are stacked against him. Even if the detectives don't believe him, he doesn't stand much of a chance against a judge or jury. What I'm trying to say, they, they, they're never accusing me, me, you know? Well, here's my opinion, uh -huh. that you knew about this in June, that your wife knew about this in June. Your wife could not have been more nervous when we were at your house. She knew exactly why we were there. That's why she was so scared. And she didn't ask why we were there. She never yeah. asked. And neither did you. Yeah. Uh, well, I asked what's going to tell me. We got to go for an interview. Yeah, that's all I told you. Know, so, so when the, even okay, when but the follow-up question was normally, why? Well, what? Uh, oh, yeah. No, I you just said, whoa, okay. So you've, yeah, had, you've had six months to get it in your head that when you came in here, you were going to deny everything. No, and your no, wife no, the same. It's not the idea. I deny. It's not the idea. No, I don't deal it. Well, this isn't like we're just surprising yeah. you with this today. No, no, okay? No. You told us you've known about this for six months. So you just thought you were lucky that the police hadn't come to your house so far and that you were going to get away with it, that they weren't going to call the police on you. No, no, so no. you're only well, surprised you, today is that we actually showed up. No, no, I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised because I don't know what's going on. You did know what was going on. No, you knew the that, second no. that we opened that door, your no, wife no, became no, no. extremely nervous. Oh, uh, so, she, said, she, said, she said, not a nervous woman. You know, she's a other woman. She don't know what's going on. You know. Well, I'm charging you for um, said that you um, put your penis no, no, no. in her vagina no, 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 once no. and tried three other times. 
No, that's um, not true. That you that's performed not true. oral sex on her. Sure I'm not tell you. That's not true. I'm telling you what your charges are. Yeah, okay? yeah. And that you but, touched but, her outside of her clothing. She she said yeah. you'd done pretty much everything to her since she oh was four years God, old. Oh my God! Oh my God! I don't know what's going on there. She was able to tell us what happened at what house. She described oh, the house. No. She described the room. She also told her you were fi told us you were physically abusive to her when she tried to resist, oh, tried to God, get away. That's not true. So that's not true. Her story is pretty horrible. Oh no 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 no! That's not true. And the and the problem is is that the the molestation is bad enough. Yeah. But you're someone that she was told to respect and love and trust. Someone that her dad that her dad respected and loved and trust. So it's not just that you molested her, it's that now you're going to do all that to her and then call her a liar. So no, the person in her life that one of the people in her I, life that you know, probably told her to do it. I don't call her a liar. I don't know what's going on in the head. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know, you know, they accusing the wrong people, the wrong person. All of them are? Yep. No. All of them just out of the blue decided let's just accuse. I don't get together there. I don't know. You know, but you you're telling us they you. have no reason to lie. They don't have no, anything to against you. No, no. It, it, this is my opinion because I don't do it. You know, I don't do it. As, you, I, I, I know this is a, a big thing. I, I know it, it's, it's the accusation. They, they, they give me something, but I don't do it. Well, one thing I can tell you yeah. is that the court is going to listen to what the girls have yeah. to say. They're going to look to see if you have any remorse whatsoever, no, which you apparently no. have no remorse. No, no. Apparently, you, you don't care about no. these girls. I care about them. them. I love them to pieces. And you're not showing it here today. Oh, well. You are absolutely not showing it here today. Today, you're showing that I you're, you're here pieces. for you, and you don't no, care about no, them. No, no, no. He made with me. I said, I'm shot. You're not shocked. You've known about this you know, for six but, months. But, but, but this is a good state, you. You're not. You're You've known about it for six months. You can say, you can say, because well, it's the truth. It's the truth. Well, uh, your truth cannot be true no, if no. their truth is true. Well, well, well I, I, I... And there's three of them and one and, of you. In front of God, I never did nothing to it. Plus a brother who remembers yeah. one specific incident that she's talking about. Yeah. And probably a friend that we just found out about yesterday and we haven't had a chance to talk to. Yeah. That may have heard everything on the phone. I don't know. So yeah, what are you going to do when those people come forward? They better prove it because I never did nothing. What, do you, what is proof for you in your mind? What do you think is proof? Proof? Why can I say? It's like you, see, you say to me, look. Because I think in your mind you think proof is if they got a videotape of you raping. No, no, that's no, proof no, in no, your no, mind. Proof is why they why they coming with this story. Why they coming with this story? True. You say it's true. You say it's true. I, hear I you. say it's not. I know, I hear you saying it's not, uh -huh. but you think that that's enough to get no, not, no. not prosecuted, no, right? they, no, I know they're going to prosecute it. No, and you know it's going to be a successful prosecution. I don't know about that. I I'm don't know about you. that. I'm going to pray to my God that's all to come out the truth. Well, if you your know? God is a just and merciful God, well, it, it is then, a merciful God. then you're probably going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Well, Because if your God is our God, then he's watching out for the children. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. But it's not... The, I never, never, never touch it. Never, no, not even, not even, uh, not even one dog then. No only kid, kid. See, this, this, the baby, is small, but then they can talk to. Well, hopefully they'll you be know? safe now. You know, hopefully they'll be safe. The tone of the comments directed at Grajales becomes harsher in the hopes that it will provoke an emotional response. But he is in complete denial, and it is unlikely that he will deviate from that position. Well, that's, that's your opinion. You have respect, but it's not my opinion. I, feel like I love them to them. I do anything for them. But I never, never. Except tell the truth. Never. I tell you the truth. Even. even They never can say nothing about me. They did say something about you. Now because they, they, they got the to say it. No. Or maybe, maybe he believes he's them. confused. He believes them over you. Yeah, he um, is confused. You know? I'll give you that. He's confused. Oh, uh, if none of this makes any sense to him. I love him to that. I love him. I love him. See, if you, if you, if you love these people, you don't hurt them. I don't hurt them, believe me. And you definitely don't betray them.
No, 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 no way. By molesting his children. I never molested him. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. All right. Well, I can see you spent the last six months playing in your story. No, no. So I don't have anything else. Do you have anything else? I'll just close it out. Okay. I'm sorry. The time is now 3.33 p.m., concluding the interview with Abraham Grahalis. Abraham, do you have anything you wish to add or delete from your statement? No, I don't have anything. Uh, did anybody threaten or intimidate you into making the statement? No. Have you made the statement voluntarily of your own free will? No, I gotta see a lawyer. Okay. I gotta see a lawyer. Okay. Because you guys don't believe what I say, so I need somebody. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do you feel like we tricked you into saying anything you didn't want to say? Uh, this is your job. Okay. This but do you feel job. like you said anything you didn't mean to say? Oh no, I don't know. I say the truth. Okay. I say that too. All right. All right. I think I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll get you something to take over. After once again confirming that Grahales answered their questions of his own free will, the interview is brought to a close. Abraham Grahales faced multiple counts of various abuse-related charges, but since there was no direct physical evidence or outside witnesses, a case against him could not be conclusively proven. Instead, Grahales accepted a plea deal, which placed him on probation for 10 years. And that's the end of today's video. If you liked what you watched and want to support the channel, Hit the like button and check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.